Hey what's going on guys it's Zinia here and welcome to this brand new video. So in this video I want to talk about 10 tips that will help you improve in Counter-Strike Global Offensive. The first tip that I can give you is watch YouTube tutorials. There are plenty of tutorials out there. When I started out I had to watch them myself because I didn't know what the game was about. Maybe you guys don't, maybe you guys are advanced, I don't know, but just watch tutorials. The best YouTuber in my opinion is War Owl. He can explain everything very well and he's a very good YouTuber. I'll link one of his videos right here on screen. The second tip is pretty much a no-brainer. It's just to download a name app and practice your aim. Every single CSGO player should do this. I do it, professionals do it, my friends do it. It's something that you should do. It's just to practice your aim because your aim is probably one of the most, if not the most important factors of Counter-Strike. Tip number three is go on a B-Hop server or a surf server. For you people who don't know what it is, I'll link another video somewhere on screen right now. And this is basically just to get used to your sensitivity. I've done this myself in the past to get used to my sensitivity and trust me, this one works very well. It might not seem like it because you don't have to shoot a gun or something, but it really helps your aim. The fourth tip is to play with higher elo. This one is probably not easy for everyone since not everyone has higher elo friends, but if you do, play with them. Just play with their main or preferably ask them to go on a smurf and just practice with you and give you tips because all the tips that they give you are going to be relevant since they are higher elo and they know what they're talking about. I've done this myself, well I was the higher elo player but I've played with friends when they were silver and I was gold nova. It might not seem like a big difference but in the beginning trust me it is. I gave them tips and they even gave me some tips and we all improved and now we're all at the same elo. Some friends are better, some friends are well, less better. But um, we pretty much are all at the same level now just because we played with each other while there was an ELO difference. Tip number 5 is to watch professionals play. In my opinion there are 3 easy ways to do this. The first one being Twitch. Just go on Twitch and watch your favorite CSGO player play. And sometimes they'll do something that you've never thought about, have never seen before and they might explain what they did and why they did that. And they can give you some ideas. The second way to do this is to watch a professional tournament. I've watched plenty myself, I've watched ESL Cologne, Dreamhack, etc. And pretty much all you guys have to do is watch and listen to the shoutcasters. Sometimes they'll go like, oh what is he doing, what is he doing, and they're probably going to explain what or why he does that. Just remember what they did and try it in game. The third way to do it is just to go on YouTube and watch a YouTuber talk about some certain strategies that certain teams did in a tournament. The best example that I can think of was the boost that Fnatic did on Overpass. Pretty much what they did was they boosted each other on a certain spot that was illegal back then and a lot of YouTubers went on it and described what they did and pretty much Overpass was unplayable for a month I think until Valve patched it. But that's something that you guys have to look out for and try yourself as long as it's possible to do. Tip number 6 is know your map. This is something that even I still have to learn. This is just to learn smokes, flashes, molotovs, everything that has to do with your equipment. As you can see in the video, I'm playing a certain map that just shows you how to throw smokes, how to throw grenades, etc. And this is pretty helpful because if you know your smokes and your team knows their smokes, you can execute a site without even having to worry about certain angles. And that is pretty much what Counter-Strike is about. Being smart, knowing your smokes, uh, knowing how to aim of course, and just defending the bomb site after. I think that this tip only gets relevant at around Master Garden ELO, because before that you just have to work on your aim and maybe throw in a smoke or two, but it's not that relevant at Silver or Gold Nova ELO. Tip number seven is to stick with your preferences. What a lot of CSGO players will do is go on YouTube or go on Google and just type in what sensitivity does get right use or is 4.3 better than 69? Just don't, just try it yourself and see what you like most. Some people will like a very low sensitivity, some people will like a very high sensitivity. It all comes down to preferences. There's no book or no rule that says you have to use this or you have to use that or this is the best or that is the worst. It's just preferences. Just stick with what you like. Tip number 8 is crosshair placement. This one is probably only relevant for people up to Master Guardian Elite, DMG ELO, but for everyone who's less than that, don't look at their feet, they might have nice easies on, you have to aim at their head. Or if you come around the corner, just keep your crosshair at head level, 
and turn with the corner. Don't go just sprint around the corner and call the person who caught you a hacker because you weren't ready to shoot him in the face. So if you look at the ground, you have to get your crosshair up at head level. But if you look at head level, all you have to do is adjust your aim. That can make a difference between a Gold Nova player and a Master Guardian player. Tip number 9 is to play pre-made. How many times have you jumped into a competitive and come to the conclusion that zero of your teammates use a microphone? Or that they're all Russian and you don't understand the thing that they say? What I suggest is to find some people that you're comfortable with and just play with them. Only play with them. If they're not aligned, don't jump in a competitive. Go play casual, surf, b-hop, aim practice, smoke practice, etc. You'll rank up much faster if you play with people that you know and play with people that have a microphone. It has happened to me before that there are three people on site A and two people on site B and I only knew that it was A site because I heard that the bomb was planted. So playing with pre-mates is a must. And the final tip is probably the most known, it's to practice. Practice, practice and practice. Don't expect to become a professional CSGO player in a month. Don't expect to become global in a week. It's not going to work. I have over 2000 hours combined with my both accounts and I still consider myself as terrible. Some people might think that I'm very good, some people will say oh he's terrible, but I myself see myself as a terrible CSGO player. So all you guys can do is practice, practice and practice. And just remember the tips that I gave you and eventually you'll become good at Counter Strike. So thank you guys so much for watching, if you enjoyed don't forget to subscribe and leave a like on this video. If you can get let's say 15 likes it would mean so much to me and don't forget to share this with your friends who actually need these tips so see you in the next video and bye You're a superhero.